Hello there, Internet. I am your host, the J-Man. Welcome to the Outbacks of Let's Play! Earthbound. We left off. Nothing really happened. Uh... Yeah, nothing really happened last time, but, uh... Yeah, I should probably tell more uh, story time, I guess. I guess past the time about me and... So... I played a lot of Splatoon 1. Uh... 2019 was like pretty much the year I started like playing more games online and... Cause... Prior, I uh... Never really played games online. Cause I just never really got connected online. I mean, I missed out on so many games on the Wii through the Wii Shop channel. They have software and games to sell. Uh, and I brought this up. Basically, I'm really getting some cheap. Some wanting, at some point, I'm really wanting to buy some. Get some Minecraft Lego sets up way at Toys R Us. Remember that, kids? Yeah, I think they should tell you what kind of what. What year this came? What year this was? But uh, But apparently, the change I got... Uh... Had the name of a porn site written on it. Like the one the dollar bills I had.
like, I have a lot of questions about where this was, uh... And why Toys R Us, of all things, was ha would have such a dollar bill. I'm guessing somebody was like, you need to get rid of that. And in fact, I think I'm correct, the dollar bill I used to spend, that was the one I used to buy Earthbound with. And I... Another thing that happened, like, in 2015 is when I was playing... I hear like remember like getting a uh, that's where my dad told me was uh when he bought a Ness amiibo off a guy. on eBay, and apparently the guy who bought it on eBay oh, What does this bird say? Quake! Village Center's coming up by Apparently, it turned out the guy who was selling it actually lived close to where we were, and he even offered like to show up to like, deliver to him personally. But obviously, yeah, that was kind of sketchy. So, yeah. and then I remember like to buy. Like a, a new 3DS along with a copy of Xenoblade <laughs> X. Xenoblade on 3D. This is the only version of Xenoblade. Yeah, I don't remember. There was a port of Xenoblade 1 on the 3DS, but it was only on the new 3DS model. It was like one of the only two games that ran on. that could only run on it. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, I really can't think of anything else, like... Yeah, if you guys are wondering what's like, I mean, I'm really not sure if I want... A part of me is considering Shadow Hearts Covenant. Uh, especially because I'm kind of helping out a person. Does it... I think I brought this up before, but there was a person named, uh... TJ the Eevee, and you probably saw her on my... I commented on one of her videos during a stream. During the first anniversary stream, and she... Uh, She's doing a she's doing Let's Play Shadow Hearts and since you guys all know that through the just the overall bad audio quality of that game, I subtitled the game myself. I'm not very talkative today. But like I said, originally, since uh, that person was doing Shadow Hearts Let's Play, I thought, why not stop talking cutscenes in their comments? And yes, she also had a very, uh, the very same, uh, rapey, the same, uh, thoughts on Yuri's, uh, rapey behavior. I think it might have been why I didn't play finish Shadow Hearts at first. I just could not. Get behind a guy who... Was just kind of rapey. Obviously he gets much, much better. Puts it in his pants for one. And well, the rest is history. I mean, you're like, even like... Sometime after Shadow Hearts Covenant came out, like I got my copy of Shadow Hearts Covenant that I tried to let's play it. But uh, I think I might have deleted those videos on it. Plus, that was filmed like right after I finished Shadow Hearts Covenant. And that was like, because I wanted to play Shadow The thing was, at the time I kind of. Rank was coming out, I was dead set on let's playing that game the moment it came out. I didn't expect a butterfly to get here. And well, rest is history. I felt like I kind of want to play Let's Play that might be short, but not like too long. So I picked Shadow Hearts.
I'm aware Covenant's like people like say Covenant's a lot better than the first game. Right here. Alright, let's see. Good evening. I'm a talking rock. But rocks here don't talk much. They talk but deep dive late both down. The lost underworld. And here we have the Fobbies! They are not boring! Oh yeah, Uncontrollable Spear, they also drop, similar to the Sword of Kings, they can also drop an item that Jeff can... There's an IQ! Ah, damn it. Uh, Poe was epileptic. I've got talking rock seems to talk more than I do. Are the Fobbies who are not orange? If you don't know, that's like a reference to an old like podcast, like parody dub of Earthbound. 
And then there's a huge supply of Oreos! Yeah, I'm not sure about Let's Play or Found Zero. Yeah, I'm sure everybody knows the story of Earthbound Zero, what happened. Basically, if you don't remember, Nintendo was planned. Nintendo translated the entirety of Earthbound the beginning of Mother One. And we're planning to release it, but back down the last minute for a variety of reasons. For one, JRPGs just weren't popular at the time. Uh. RPGs just weren't very popular at the time. Uh, needed like a marketing campaign, of course. Uh, battery backup to save, which was just too expensive to produce. It was the 80s. That and the Super Nintendo was coming out, like, sometime later, and Nintendo was wanted One Bobby is. I want a Bobby plushie, damn it. Yeah, it doesn't like you like. I don't know if I still have it at the moment, but they. Yes! We did it! Beef jerky, damn it. I even knew about Earthbound Zero. I didn't even know what fan translations even were back when I was playing. Like, I just, for some reason, I assumed that Earthbound. My best guess is that I thought Earthbound Zero 
that. It, it just had a English setting, like some games will do that. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, everyone's horny for uh, Pekoda's mom. Sherman knows the core of Hollow Life. For April Fool's Day. While Kenji was streaming, everyone was wanting Pekora. Pekora is like a rapid VTuber who um is also known joked about being a war criminal. Yeah, I'm saving that for later. Damn it, they were all borage. Got it. I really need to stop repeating the same joke over and over and over. Yeah, I would like to stream more, uh, Space America. <laughs> now I just imagine them sounding like the Zelda from Red vs. Blue. And they're at war with the Foppies. I present to you the hat! It's more beautiful than I ever imagined. You will worship me as if I were a god! I regret nothing! I die daring what few men dare to dream! Okay. I said this many times before, but the Zealots are probably my favorite characters in Red vs. Blue for just how weird they are. And then th them teabagging. Uh, oh, oh, it was either O'Malley or Wyoming. It was one of those two. It's still by still. Didn't see your name on it. Oh, you camping bitch! <laughs> Ooh, a PSI caramel. I'm really like. Sh s s I was guys on the. At some point, my mom like couldn't like pick me up from school. Like she works as a teacher and. There was a one time, like a, fa a friend of hers, like picked me up, and I showed him like that episode of Rivers Blue when they all and when all the when the zealots all ganged up on. Yeah.
Oh, I thought poppies are boring. Like, and I remember like they made one like based on where I was like, Lloyd's are not Christmas. The flag is gone. Who will lead us? Who will inspire us with their shiny pole? I know they came back in during the Shizno Sog trilogy. Yeah, I remember, like, I can't even remember, like, anything but, uh, from the Shizno Paradox. I remember like the one that's the caboose going back in time, pretty much accidentally changing history in the process. Thanks for talking to me. You're welcome, fam. Yeah, I remember like a lot of flack for that season was like so much grimmins. Yep, it's Bumblebee all over again. And apparently there was like so I'm sure everybody knows like I already mentioned this like in a previous episode there was a uh, zero and the original plan was for it to be like a direct single that According to a uh, someone's Twitter, which has since been private. Wait, what? But yeah, originally, it was like this, that was like the sequel to. Apparently, the Red Blue's going back to Iris, and Sister declaring herself a gang therapist. I never watched. Uh, and it was called Resolution. And with a double with the person that yeah, I'm checking the reference to the wiki from this. I'm sure you guys all know by now that with the with Red vs. Blue Restoration I feel like they should have just kept stuck it's all called Restoration Resolution because I feel like well it's the resolution the final season so why not go out for bang <laughs> Uh, 
in a personal life family, grow family, and refer to each other by their first names. I'm where to like Chase White. The reason the chief wanted to meet with him was to tell him not to interact with him. Apparently, the plan was as follows. Sarge and Carolina's names will be revealed for the season, along with the confirmation of Griff Simmons being gay, Sarge being bi, what? And Jonah being A. Okay. Sarge, I can think of Sarge being ace. But no. I do not want another Bumblebee situation, like. Where just a ship. Fan. Jonah being ace. I mean. I can see that working. Probably making the, all the jokes about donut being funnier. Um. Caboose and Lopez will tend to help watch them with the cerebral hyp hypoxia. By creating a war game simulation scenario in the Meta's helmet. Okay, apparently it's like a brain does get enough oxygen. While Carolina would publish a book about his experiences with Project Freelancer and would visit Junior. And Tucker would visit Junior. A fall off season would have started. Love of Sarge being on his deathbed during season would watch Carolina be captured by the new president of UNSC, a fan of Carolina's book. Who is curious to have a project freelancer AI post project? The president would be well dead during the event season, but his body would have been puppeted by Virginia AI. Season also would double the fall course with the season during the deaths of Locust as he led a rebel group against the Shangeli. Like, I think the aliens from Halo. Yeah, the elites. Exposing the president with true intentions of process. Dylan. Andrews, who was like this reporter chick. Saris, who was like a bounty hunter of sorts. There. And Ohio Iowa would have also served noble roles this season. Four of their characters who served Washington's medical team would have showed up this season. With them meant to take the role of protagonist this season following this season there. As I know, yeah, I feel like one way I think they could have made zero work was maybe like a spiritual, a different project for I heard, like, maybe, like, a... a mid... Making, like, another prequel, like... focusing on the other agents of Project Freelancer. I remember, like, I joined one, and my whole OC was, like, called Oak, as in Oklahoma. Yeah, until then I might. Oh, and apparently it was played by. Apparently the. Serious guy was played by Chris Sabbath of all people? As in the voice of Vegeta? Yeah, I should probably talk more about my old J Bod episodes. Uh, more about the J Bod lore.
Maybe more what could have been said for JMI, like... That's something I don't think I ever talked about for JMI. Oh yeah, right, the... <sighs> yeah, that was a great one. Yeah, I might just talk about it already now, since we're already here. So, I, I mentioned like one time before, there was one SOG mod that I had planned after the Inevitable Battle Royale episode. And it went like this Jack and Sean go to. It was called the episode is called was called Wow Classically. If you can't tell, it was meant to be a parody of World of Warcraft Classic because that was that came out around the time. Basically. I might have told you, but the episode went like this. Originally, me and Sean were going to... Sean was just open with Sean, just casually reading a book. I getting frustrated. I got frustrated at a game. What, of course, being wow, cla sick. That game being World of Warcraft Classic. Basically, Sean like brought up that he never really played MMOs as a kid, and I just told him that I knew a girl in high school that played the game. 
Yeah, no joke. There's like some class, at some point in my English class when we started like talking about like online games, something about gaming, online. I can't remember like what the subject was, but then again, you gotta remember this was high school. This is a belly button. But then it ends with me and Sean, uh... Sean, of course, starts going on the WoW, and... Basically, I went to, like, the closest thing I had to a guild. Who wanted to finish Class Leroy Jenkins never finished? For those that don't know, Leroy Jenkins... Oh, shit. So for those who don't know what Leroy Jenkins was, Leroy Jenkins was a popular meme. So basically, some guys called the Pals for Life for playing what? Uh... Okay, the video itself was staged, but it was literally based on a real event. They were trying to play what? Uh, Leroy, or it was just like supposedly Leroy was like away from his computer making himself a chicken, and he didn't hear their plans for what they were supposed to do for fighting. So then he charged up and said the, the iconic words. Alright, time's up! Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! Oh my god, he just ran in. Wait, step up! Stick to the plan! Obviously, they woke up like a bunch of dragons. I don't know wow, and I think that's like a sign that's a cub. Uh. And I got Leroy, you're just stupid as hell. <laughs> At least I have chicken. So we were gonna try and do that quest that happened. Sean, me and Sean were going. Sean was like on there trying to get chicks and. Because. Y'all remember early on, I Sean was like supposed to be like kind of like a womanizer of sorts, but this got dropped later on. I got here. This is the seventh year sexual creature, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Oh my god, it's abstract art!
Basically, of course, this guild all consists of people that all openly hated me. Fish, so basically, there. So during this fight, during this, basically, we decided to go on quest to do it. But we they needed like a powerful legendary player by the name of Danny Burrito, who was supposedly could he go to did the molten core raid by himself. Could use a level 80 weapon at level 50, and he made some good tacos and some smexy quesadillas. I we find out go on an epic journey to find this guy. Turns out it was Pickles Cage. Get it, Pickles Cage, Danny Burrito. I know there's Danny the Cheeto, but Burrito just sounded funnier to me. Plus, the Mexican food connection. Then, me and John ran to some guys out of the horde because we were on a PvP server. And we were all going to fight like this. Turned out one of them was actually Thomas. And another part was like basically turned out like one of the guys was like a guild member who was during this corrupted blood plague. I'll probably finish, tell the story like next time. I'm Jack. It's been a long road getting here. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. What will happen to us? What's happening? My thoughts are being written out on the wall. Or are they, or are they? Oh no, man, it keeps me up at night. Jack saw a vision of his father holding him. Alright, well, tiny any episode here. Like, subscribe, let's see ya.